One that I think we both got a chance to watch is Copa 71. This is definitely high on our radar, partially because it's got some interesting producers attached in the Williams sisters, I believe Alex Morgan as well. And it tells the story of the unofficial 1971 Ooh. Women's World Cup, a not event not sanctioned by FIFA that saw several of the uh, world's best women's teams come to Mexico for uh, a tournament years before the first officially recognized Women's World Cup. Um, I thought it was a pretty compelling retelling of the story. I, I kind of wish it maybe dove into some of the more, some more of the specifics in terms of uh, the obstacles they faced. It was very much like f- summarizing uh, people's viewpoints, where I, whereas I kind of wanted like to actually hear the letters and stuff like that. Mm. Uh, but it's it's a really incredible story, and it, particularly that it was so kind of erased from the record uh, is, is fascinating. Um, what did you think about Copa 71? Uh, I don't know if you ever saw the Hurricanes, the female football one from South by. I remember that, a, but no, yeah. Yeah, they get a lot of like the remaining players. This was like that to the degree that they have the record for the most people who were at an event. Like it rivals the World Cups that they have now. I also thought it was crazy that uh, they were kind of going back on the copyright infringement on like who's allowed to use world cup, you know, like just the beginnings of what becomes this behemoth event. Um, and then just the intricacies of how they face each other and, you know, without spoiling what happens in this real life event, uh, how, because it took place in Mexico city, there was a sway, but Mm -hmm. then the sway that it went to those players also were like, nah, you're screwing us over. So it's, I thought they did a really good job at getting into the minds of the players and how they were feeling during that time. And it made you feel like, Oh, okay. You're, you're following this tourney, uh, in real time with a profound amount of footage, to be honest with you. I thought it, it really put you in, into the, uh, the flashbacks of those moments. Um, and I'd be curious to see, uh, any follow-ups to this and, I mean, did they they run a woman's cup now, no? Uh, yeah, I mean, like there's uh, that whole debacle we... that happened with the guy that they want fired because of the hugging, right? <laughs> exactly. Yeah, the, that it, there was a women's World Cup earlier this summer. So uh, this could and... be timed perfectly to a lot of yeah. Yeah. But no, I thought uh, it was good. Yeah, very good. 